It's been a little while since I dropped some hot, steaming, creepy text messages on all of you, and I think we were long overdue for some more, so Coach called me off the bench and I'm about to provide. But something a little different here. The text messages I'm, I'm going to show aren't like the standard weirdo, unhinged, lunatic type behavior, but I think it's something that a lot of people might be able to learn from. So to give a little background, the poster here, she mentioned that she had gone on one date with this guy and knew him for like two months and the date didn't go super well. And then we fast forward to this interaction that we're about to cover. And the reason why I think this is a teachable moment is because I feel like this is something maybe a lot of people do without realizing it's not a good idea. And there's actually hints of old Charles in these text messages here. Deep in the flavor profile of these embarrassing texts we're about to go over, I see myself staring me in the mirror when I was but a wee lad, a young man. The very first time I got a girl's number that I was interested in, I was giddy. It, it felt like I had just won the Super Bowl and I, I couldn't stop texting her, even when I wasn't getting responses, which is a big no-no. That is a huge, unforgivable sin. You don't do that because it's annoying. And sometimes if I didn't receive a response after my like fourth text in a row with an ad, like, 20 minute period, I'd just be like, oh man, shucks, she hates me, zoinks, I blew it. And then I'd still send like another three texts, and I know I mentioned this before at one point, but sometimes I'd get so like desperate and like begging for a response that I'd send her little ASCII art of stick figures. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Actually, that was worse than the guy in the messages we're about to cover, but he his is floating around and I really think it's important that people realize that that's just not how you should communicate with anyone. Not even just someone that you're interested in, just a, anybody in general. No one likes to just be pestered. So let's begin. I am believing right now you might be my kryptonite. Need to hang out more, but I'm pretty sure you're my kryptonite. I'm good with anyone and they will probably be my best friend once they are done. Just what I'm used to. I don't really know what that means, if I'm being honest. What, what do you mean, she's your kryptonite? But, like, I, like I, it's supposed to be cute and romantic, but I don't really get it. That it's kind of like a like an insult to her. Like, look, you're bad for me. You literally poison me. You uh, you make me sick. Is basically what that's saying. It's not really that romantic, but I think he's trying to mean it in like a sweet way. But anyway, she says, "Sorry, I can't talk right now. I just got my son from school. Give me a second. Which is totally reasonable. She's giving a response, letting him know that she can't really properly respond to whatever conversation's trying to be started from this, this cold open. And he goes, okay, sounds good. Enjoy your time with them, please. Cody is about to get home, and then we're going to go play some ski board, and I'm drinking. And then sends a picture of the beverage. He must have been butt-chugging that Miller light there, because then things really fly off the rails. Feels kind of weird being in Wichita Falls. I love it, though. Let's have a good time. Can I call you? I miss you already. Sorry to call, just wanted to talk to you. I'm guessing he tried dialing her there and didn't get a response. I don't want to be one of those guys that just be passion about anything, but in the incense I was passing about you, there's a couple things in society that you go through. I don't know what type of Confucius wisdom he was trying to drop there. There's a whole lot of words in that vomit and none of it translates to anything in that sentence. I don't know what was even said there. That is a real head-scratcher. Where's life and just live, but nothing truly measures to you meeting up and having a good conversation, I like you. I like you a lot. My friends coming from all destinations have a party tonight. I hope you're there. I hope you have school, please, deem that necessary. Please deem your boy necessary. I love our conversation, but I'm probably the best dude you ever know big red flag. Anyone that identifies as a nice guy or the best guy you ever know, hey, probably not going to be the best guy you ever know. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to beat around the bush here. If you're tooting your own horn, that horn's going to be stinky most of the time here. But me saying that, I don't know, but you are a princess to me. Sorry to text you so much as I'm not a texter. Do you need to call me? I'm there. I'm leaving Cheddar's now, about to hang out with one of my friends. He's meeting me here. Heart. And she finally responds saying, I'm sorry, I have class in a minute, I'm trying to rush through everything quick as can be. Again, totally understandable, she has already said that she is busy. So it's probably not a good idea to just fucking flood her phone with all this spaghetti that's fallen out here. 
So let's break this down. He's clearly very excited. And there's nothing wrong with being excited. Being excited is great. But maybe dial it back when you're not getting responses. He talks about loving their conversation. Brother, there's no conversation except for the one you're having with a ghost right now. There's nothing happening in these messages. You are speaking to yourself. To me, it seems like he started panicking when he wasn't getting a response in a time period he felt was acceptable. So then just kept sending more and more text messages on top of it, just bombarding her. And then he sent another picture of, I believe, them out and about. Another thing is, I don't think just sending a bunch of pictures is a good idea either when you're not getting responses. That makes it seem very desperate. Just just let this just let this sit for a bit. Just let it ruminate. Let, let her marinate on this and get back to you when she's not busy. You don't need to keep sending these text messages, which is a lesson that I and many others have learned. You don't want to just keep texting endlessly if you're not getting responses. There, there's this unspoken rule, I suppose, about, you know, double texting or the forbidden jutsu of a triple text. Of course, it's mainly a meme, but there is some real logic behind it. If you're texting with someone and they're not really responding, it's not really a good idea to just keep pressing that. Either they're not interested, which is fine, it happens, or they're busy. And in either one of these cases, sending more text messages is only going to serve to make things much more uncomfortable and worse all around. Girl, be you. That's all that I want, but I do want to see you. And then sends this creep shot of just two women at the bar they're at, two older women. And then he goes, So Cody and I are about to take these ladies home. Laughing emojis. I swear to God, two old ladies about to take us home. I want to see you. You in class? This is just really weird. Like, it, this is bizarre. W wh where is this coming from? Why are you taking a photo of just two random ladies claiming they're trying to take you home or something? Shit's getting a little a little loopy here. And it, uh, it's, it's still not hitting. She's still not responding. Because again, she has already explained she has class. She is busy here. Now the way he's texting makes me feel like he's drunk at the very least. Because it's almost incoherent, like, babbling. Saying nothing. It's so many messages to say nothing. Like, it, what do you mean? I hope you deem your boy necessary or whatever. Like, what what is going on? Like, this is... You shouldn't be texting right now. What you need is some Pedialyte and just <laughs> just rest and recuperate. So she finally responds again saying, I'm in class. I'm sorry. I don't know what the prize that needs to be paid. Just really love the time we had. Might be getting soft. And she's as confused as I am. What do you mean, lol? Me sure who I am is the price I mean. I appreciate the explanation, Yoda. Again, what? Huh? Another picture of some beverages here? We're about to move, dude thinks he is prettier than me. What the fuck? I told me I can pull more chick than you, bro. Had me cracking up. Just move to the side and have fun, bro, is what I told him. And then sends a picture of a song that he's listening to. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in the lore right now. It, he's treating these text messages with this girl like it's his diary. Or like, he, like he's live blogging his life right now in real time. Live tweeting in these texts. It's baffling. It, I also think he's making it up. Like, I... I don't understand what this is supposed to be. You won't believe this. Guy said he could pull more chick than me. Ha! I couldn't stop laughing. It reminds me of that really shitty advice that people used to preach about, you know, convince a woman that you're desirable by making it seem like other women are vying for your attention and time. Like, fake a phone call or something. Uh, pardon me, madam. I'm getting a phone call. Yes, Stacy. No, the pussy appointment was cancelled. We can have sex another night. I'm busy. It's- it's boys' night. I, I'll- yeah, I'll call you back. Alright, goodbye. Sorry, I'm just, This girl, she always wants to fuck me. But anyway, what, what was your name again? It, like, one of those things where it's like, Oh, wow, this guy's got- So many girls are interested in this guy. I mean, maybe I should be interested too. Was the line of thought. That's what those text messages scream to me. That he's just making that- whole situation up right there because what random dude's gonna come up saying that 
he's prettier than him and that he can pull more chicks than him. Just a total stranger. That's not like a human interaction that would ever happen. Some dudes smell like ass. Laughing emojis. My goodness. Why are you telling her this? What, what, what is the response even supposed to be? And then he just sends like a, another random photo of someone playing pool. Presumably him playing pool, I guess. I don't know. He just keeps sending all these fucking photos of beer, beer, two old ladies, him, beer, pool. Why? It's not a picture book. It's supposed to be text messages, like a conversation, but there's no conversation. Stop fucking texting. And he just says, ha ha. And she responds again, finally, after a bit of a drought, saying, that's nice. I mean, yeah, that sums it up. Like, what are you supposed to say to this? Just, oh, cool. Oh, interesting. Nice. And then he goes, not without you. We are at Deep Eddie's. My goodness, lol. You are going to be able to come out. We will come pick you up. Am I going to be able to see you before the night over with? Like, he's going full caveman mode with a lot of these statements here. I think he has drank a lot over the course of the evening. And still, after all of these messages, nothing of value was said. It's just been weird. You've you've sent 30 messages to to almost no response ever. So let the let the lesson be learned here to not just keep texting into the void. If you're not getting responses, don't force it. It's a bad idea to just keep sending text after text after text. This fool. And then she finally responds and just... She she just gets right down to business. I don't want to be rude, but you knew I had class. I made it clear. I've been here an hour and a half and you have texted me 33 times compared to my five times. This was all... I bet a lot of you watching this thought that these text, message had, text messages had come over the course of like a day or something. An hour and a half. Jiminy Christmas. I'm sorry, I do not want to pursue this any further. You don't understand boundaries or when someone isn't answering. Be safe, have a good night. I think that is a very understandable, reasonable, and respectful way of just getting this across here. He clearly did not respect boundaries or respect that she was busy. So I think this makes complete sense. And he says, I won't text you anymore, nor will I ever message you again. Have a good life. My apologies did not mean any disrespect. I hope you climb mountains. I truly like you. Glad you disrespected me now so I know. I get it. Wow. And then that emoji. I, I don't really know what that emoji is supposed to convey here for the emotion. Told me that you would keep me updated. We have a good life. And then some more hand emojis. Uh, I mean, it, it could have it could have been worse, I suppose. Yeah, anyway, uh, just wanted to share this. Hopefully you learned something from it. That's about it. See ya.